in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you a classic route combination out of the West Coast Bunch that has been good for years, and I guarantee it's gonna be good in Madden 24. Um, it's also really good in Madden 23. Again, this is a super simple concept. You don't really need any abilities whatsoever to run it, uh, but it's just really good, and it works every single year. So the play that we're gonna show you today uh, comes out of the West Coast Bunch. If you wanna get my entire West Coast Offensive eBook, head down to the description below and go join the page. Patreon. The link will be down below. The play we're going to be taking a look at today is Mesh Post. This is one of my favorite plays of all time, uh, and it's because it is extremely versatile. There's a lot of things that we can do with this concept. Uh, I'm going to show you probably the most simple uh, way to run this year in and year out, and it's basically this. What we're going to do is we're going to streak our slot receiver. And then we're just going to take our running back and you can either leave him on this wheel route or I like to just block him just like this. Now at the snap of the ball, if your tight end gets separation to the flat, go ahead and high point and just throw that out there to the flat. And what that's going to do is that simple high ball flat route is one of the most important routes that you can consistently take in this year's game because it forces your opponent to have to make some very specific adjustments. One of the adjustments that your opponent is going to have to make to that tight end flat route is they are either going to have to shade their coverage underneath or they are going to have to uh, put a hard flat zone over on the bunch side of the field. If they have to put a hard flat zone over on the bunch side of the field, then there's a lot of other things that are going to be open on this play. One of those things is this post route to the circle receiver. You're going to see right here, he's going to cut over the middle of the field. You want to free form that across the middle, super open, and it's really good against a lot of the different zone concepts that you're going to be seeing in this game. Now, that being said, not only is your post a really, really good and big play uh, potential route, but this also uh, really does well with some of the other concepts on this because they basically have to have some safety help over the top to play the post. And because they have to have that safety help or they have to user it, now this underneath drag route is just going to be a nice little check down for you. If they don't have a short route KO and they're manning that up, that's going to be pretty open uh, over the middle of the field. So uh, one other quick little tip with this is you can do other things underneath. So if you think a five yard in route works a little bit better, which as you can see against press man, um, it can certainly work a little bit better then put a five yard in route, right? If you think a you know a slant route works better, uh, go ahead and be my guest to do that. You can also re-hot route to a hot routed drag that is a little bit of a different route than what this mesh route specifically is. And so you can use different routes uh, is all I wanted to say with that. Now, one of the most common adjustments that a lot of people like to do with bunch is they love to have either a 30 yard backed off cloud over here on the right, something like this to be able to defend corner routes. And so when they start to do stuff like that, this play becomes really good because there's not gonna be really anybody to track this drag underneath because they're using that outside third defender to try to defend the C route over the top. Now, that being said, let me show you how the rest of the play works out against kind of this hybrid shell that we are starting to see a lot of people really like to go to um, in this hybrid coverage. So where we kind of enable the bunch side uh, to take away the quick tight and flat and all that, how does this work if they use it underneath? You can still throw this in that pocket against man coverage. It is a little bit of a tighter window, but you certainly can throw this against, uh, against this hybrid man concept. So let me show you real quick here. So if they're putting thirds on the left side and let's say um, hypothetically that the user is going to come underneath and he's going to defend that post route. So now you want to go to that or he's going to come underneath and defend the drag. You just want to basically ag this so that the KO cannot tackle him. And if the KO can't touch him, then it is going to be open every single time. Now, how does this do against like your basic zone, like cover four, cover three, all that stuff? Really good because this flat zone on the right is going to pull out all of the zones. And then you can always check this down to the drag. The drag route can be thrown at any point. It's why I like the drag route. I think it's the ultimate check down because the user has to bail to go guard the post. If he doesn't, we'll show you what happens in just a second. And so what that does is it just consistently leaves this open as a great check down. It doesn't really matter what the coverage is that they're running. Um, they really have to kind of have some really good man coverage 
uh, to take this away. So now let's say that the user says, okay, I'm gonna stay underneath and I'm gonna lurk the drag underneath. If they take the drag underneath, you're gonna throw this post route with an inside pass lead. And again, you just wanna ag back to the ball before it gets to the KOs. And as you can see, it's a really good cover four beater. This is also a really good cover three beater. So let's say they're playing you in a cover three coverage. Your first read is always throw this quick flat. If I can throw this quick flat, I'm gonna try to take it, especially early um, on in you know maybe a set of downs or whatever. I'm always gonna try to hit that flat because that flat is going to force them to really come underneath and it's gonna open up my post route in the back end of the defense. As you can see, really systematic and really a clean cover three beater as well. Now, I do have my match activated. So you might be asking, okay, how does this play with like a cover two sync? How does this play with like the Tampa three? Um, you'll see here that mid read is going to match. And then that deep half does come over. But a lot of people, what they're doing right now uh, in cover three or cover two is you're getting a lot of this where they're going with a deep third and then they're going to use her. The, they're still going to be in that position where they have to choose. Am I going to use her the drag or am I going to use the post? The post, you just have to be really careful. You want to be agging the post route back to the ball so that the zone KOs cannot light up. If you do that, this play is virtually unguardable in really any coverage. This is mesh post. It's one of my favorite plays of all time in Madden because it is so consistent year over year. If you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, we've got several different variations, including an entire ebook on the West Coast playbook. You can head down to the description and go join the Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of our ebooks. Thanks for watching the video and head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.